Hello everyone! Welcome to Teacher Frail TV! Our subject for today is Math 4, Quarter 3, Week 6 Milk Base Let's learn about Solving problems involving elapsed time Lesson 3 At the end of this lesson, you are expected to solve problems involving elapsed time. Hello kids! Today, we are going to learn about solving problems involving elapsed time. To solve the problem involving elapsed time, we can use the four-step plan. Step 1. Understand. You have to understand what is as in the problem and what are the given numbers. Step 2. Plan. Then plan what operation will you use and what is the number sentence. Step 3. Solve. How is the solution done? And then step 4. Check and look back. What will you do to check if your answer is correct? And what is the answer to the problem? Read the problem below. Marie started answering her activity in math at 7.30 a.m. She finished answering at 8.25 a.m. How many minutes did she spend answering her math activity? Let's answer the problem using the four-step plan. Step 1. Understand. What is as in the problem? The time Marie spent in answering her activity. And then what are the given numbers? So the given numbers are 8.25 a.m. which is the time ended and 7.30 a.m. which is the time started. Step 2. Plan. What operation will you use? We will use subtraction to know how long did she spend in answering her activity. And then, what is the number sentence in this problem? So the number sentence is 825 minus 730 equals N. Step 3. Solve. How is the solution done? Let's see how. Time ended. 825. And time started, 7.30. First, we have to subtract the column in minutes. But since the minuend, which is 25 minutes, is smaller than the subtrahend, which is 30 minutes, we have to borrow 1 hour to the column in hour. 25 minutes should borrow 1 hour to 8 hours. So 8 hours become 7 hours. Cancel 8. Then change it to 7. Then rename 1 hour as 60 minutes. Then add 60 minutes and 25 minutes. So 25 minutes plus 60 minutes equals 85 minutes. It will become 785. Then subtract 730 from 785. So 785 minus 730 equals first subtract. 5 minus 0 equals 5. 8 minus 3 equals 5. Then, 7 minus 7 equals 0. So, the answer is 55 minutes. And then, let's do step 4. Check and look back. What will you do to check if your answer is correct? You're going to add the difference to the subtrahend. So, add... Subtrahend 730 add to the difference which is 55. 730 plus 55 equals 785 which is the minuen. So that means it is correct. 785 is equivalent to 8 hours and 25 minutes. How do we get 8 hours and 25 minutes? 
So from 85 minutes, we have to subtract the 60 minutes which is equivalent to 1 hour. So 85 minus 60 equals 25. And then the 60 minutes that is equivalent to 1 hour add to 7. So 7 becomes 8. That's why we get the equivalent of 8 hours and 25 minutes, which is the time ended in the given problem. And then, what is the answer to the problem? So Marie spent 55 minutes in answering her math activity. And now, try to do the activity below. Mrs. Cruz cooked their lunch at 10.35 a.m. If she finished cooking their lunch at 11.20 a.m., how long did she cook their lunch? So let's answer the problem using the four-step plan. Step 1. Understand. What is as in the problem? The as in the problem is the time Mrs. Cruz spent in cooking their lunch. And what are given? So the given numbers in the problem are 11.20 a.m. which is the time ended and 10.35 a.m. which is the time started. For step 2 is to plan. What operation will you use? We will use subtraction to know how long did she spend in cooking their lunch. And then, what is the number sentence? So the number sentence in this problem is 11.20 minus 10.35 equals N. And then for step 3, solve. How is the solution done? Time ended 11.20 and time started 10.35. First, we have to subtract the column in minutes. But since the minuen, which is 20 minutes, is smaller than the subtrahend, which is 35 minutes, we have to borrow 1 R to the column in hour. 20 minutes should borrow 1 R to 11 hours. So 11 hours becomes 10 hours. Cancel 11. Then change to 10. Then rename 1 hour as 60 minutes. Then add 60 and 20 minutes. So 20 plus 60 equals 80. It will become 10 hours and 80 minutes. And then subtract 1035 from 1080. So 1080 minus 1035 equals 45 minutes. The answer is 45 minutes. And for the last step, step 4, check and look back. What will you do to check if your answer is correct? Add the difference to the subtrahend. The subtrahend is 1035, then add to the difference, which is 45 minutes. 1035 plus 45 equals 1080. 1080 is the mean you win. That means the answer is correct. 1080 is equals to 1120. How do we get 1120? To get 1120, which is the equivalent, we have to subtract 60 to 80. 60 is equivalent to 1 hour. Because that is equivalent to 1 hour, we have to add 1 to 10. So 10 becomes 11. Then 80 minus 60 equals 20. That's why we get 11.20. 11.20 is the given time ended in the problem. And then next, what is the answer to the problem? Mrs. Cruz spent 45 minutes in cooking their lunch. Did you get it, kids? Remember, to solve the problem involving elapsed time, we can use the four-step plan. Step 1, understand. What is as in the problem? And what are the given? Step 2. Plan. What operation will you use? And what is the number sentence? Step 3. Solve. How is the solution done? And then step 4. Check and look back. What will you do to check if your answer is correct? And what is the answer to the problem? So kids, do you understand our lesson today? 
Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!